Windows XP tune-up video number five. Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, some processes we can stop that will free up processor and memory as well. First thing we're going to take a look at is uh, lax last access timestamps for files. Uh, this process can use a lot of processor uh, creating timestamps of last access times for all the files that you currently have on your computer. And typically uh, it's safe to turn this off unless you use some sort of backup software that requires those timestamps for backup processes. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look now and show you how to uh, stop this process. Uh, if you'll go to your start button, select run, and type in CMD to bring up the DOS command prompt. <clears throat> Once that's open, uh, we're going to type the uh, executable name, which is FSUTIL, and we're going to add uh, a couple of uh, 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 different uh, options here. Uh, we're going to do a space and type behavior. and then we're going to do another space and type set and then we're going to add a space and all one word we're going to type disable last access then a space and the number one and select enter Of course, you receive no notification that this is turned off, but it is now turned off. If you do need to uh, turn these uh, uh, indexing files back on, it's the same command, but you change the 1 to a 0. I'm going to go ahead and close this. The next thing we're going to look at are fonts. Fonts are loaded up in memory each time you boot the computer up. Uh, it's not required that you have too many uh, font files. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Go to your start button, select control panel, and we're going to look for the control for the fonts. Now I don't have too many uh, on here so um, I'm probably pretty safe, but do remember the less you have, the faster your computer is going to be. Uh, to review these fonts and see which ones they are and whether you use them or not, you can simply right click and choose open. And here it shows the font, what it actually looks like. Um, I don't typically use this font, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. and to delete fonts uh, you simply right click and choose delete and it asks you if you're sure yes I am sure now this process could take quite a while uh, to review all of these and decide whether you need them or not uh, do not delete everything or you will have no fonts on your computer to use in such programs as Word or any of the office products so go ahead and review those as you need and you can delete the ones you don't use. The next thing we're going to look at are uh, add and remove programs. Your hard drive can become cluttered with uh, programs you no longer use and there's an easy way to get rid of these programs. Simply go to the start button, select control panel again, select add and remove programs and here are a list of all of the installed programs on the computer uh, let's see here here's one I don't currently use I'm going to go ahead and remove this so you highlight the entry and select remove 
Are you sure you want to completely remove? Yes. And that successfully removed. Let's see here if we can find another program. Okay, well I don't currently see any other programs that I, I do not use. You may have many more. Uh, one thing to be aware of uh, when uninstalling programs, if any of the files are shared, you will be notified upon uninstallation that there are shared files and that it doesn't appear that any other program uses them, but if any other program does use them, that program will no longer work. So typically, when asked to remove shared files, it's safer to say no, do not remove the shared files, and you can remove those later. Go ahead and close this item. And we'll close control panel. The next thing we're going to look at is turning off the indexing service. Indexing service is a service used to list all the files for Windows for faster searching. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how to uh, get rid of that. Uh, simply select Start and open my computer. And you're going to right click your C drive, choose Properties, and on the general page down here at the bottom you see the uh, allow indexing service to index this disk for last file searching. What you'll do is just simply remove the check mark. It's also not recommended to compress a drive to save disk space as it takes a longer time for your drive to access the information. Now this uh, process will take a while. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this process and pause the uh, recording. Once completed, uh, We'll, we'll pick up from there. And it asks you to apply changes to C only or apply changes to C and all subfolders and files. And here we have apply changes to C and all subfolders and files. And then we're going to select OK. Ah, here we go. Uh, I've encountered an error. I'm, I'm glad this came up. Uh, an error occurred applying attributes to a certain file. Access is denied. And I'm going to go ahead and try retry once. And if it does not go ahead and proceed, I'm going to select ignore all because I don't want to be prompted for every file. and I'll go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, that process has completed now. Uh, to go ahead and uh, invoke all the changes we've made, go ahead and perform a restart and we'll see you in video number six.